guess what? The Minimalists are going on tour with a live version of The Minimalists podcast. And I want to invite you to join us for a night of less. Find your nearest city at theminimalists.com slash tour. We'll see you there. How do I lose weight in a healthy way? Mm -hmm. Is a carnivore diet going to help me do that? Uh, Because that's where I'm at right now. Like I want to, I want to be a little bit leaner. Like when I snowboard, it's a lot easier for me to like control myself when I don't have an extra 15 pounds hanging around. The other thing I want to talk about too is uh, what unhealthy meats do you recommend people don't eat? Sure. uh, Or animal products because like egg yolks versus egg whites. And then also what if there was like say your top three vegetables or your top three plant-based things like, okay, if you're going to eat plant-based things, these are the only three things you should eat. Like what would those be? And you could start with any of that. Okay, right. You guys love just hammering yeah, like, multiple questions. <laughs> let me like, just, let me just give like, you a fire hose of questions. This is like Jeopardy, man. It's like, okay. This but, is, but this is this good is like though, man. You get to like, choose what you want to talk about. <laughs> I want to talk about all of it. <laughs> we'll start with the weight loss. Yeah. Weight loss, weight right. loss. Okay, <clears throat> so weight loss, I think, at a basic level, boils down to calories in, calories out. Right. Like I could technically lose weight on a Twinkie diet if you I just- You absolutely yeah. could lose weight on a Twinkie diet. What, what that equation- misses is that the food you eat affects your satiety okay and the more nutrient dense the food you eat is the more satiated you're going to be and the more enjoyable it's going to be to lose weight and mm-hmm. the more sustainable it's going to be to keep it off yes that's right? why if i just eat rice i'm hungry an hour later there's exactly no, there's no micronutrients there's no in micronutrients in rice and it's for pure carbohydrates right. so it's not really going to affect it you could lose weight just eating rice mm-hmm. right right but as we suggested right just eating rice is going to lead to some major nutrient deficiencies in the short term even quickly right mm-hmm. so I believe that the way to lose weight sustainably is to create satiety. The human body is programmed over 4 million years of hominid evolution Mm -hmm. to never stay in a prison of calorie restriction, to never stay without micronutrients, right? That's not an evolutionary good thing for us, evolutionarily good thing for us. That is starvation. You don't want that, right? Right. So if you diet by simply limiting calories, weight watchers, et cetera, Mm -hmm. you're going to fail. Unfortunately, the majority of time we fail because that is millions of years Mm -hmm. of evolution saying you can do it short term, Mm -hmm. but eventually you're- It's not sustainable. Your body's going to break out of that prison. Yes. So I think that a carnivore diet could be very helpful for you. You give your body the most nutrient-rich foods. You create satiety. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying carbohydrates are bad. I'm saying that for a lot of people, carbohydrates can affect satiety negatively. Mm -hmm. And where are the micronutrients in the carbohydrates? Mm -hmm. As Josh is saying, for some people, a small amount of carbohydrates at certain times can be helpful. But we talked a little bit about ketosis and ketogenic diets or low-carb diets. I'm not saying low-carb diets are the only way to lose weight, but they are a very effective way for a lot of people because Mm -hmm. they improve satiety. Mm. One of the things we know about ketones is that they affect satiety in a positive way, meaning we are less hungry. When you develop that electrical engine, you can tap into all of the fat on your body. Mm. That's what gets burned at a high level, basically, when you're in ketosis, right? You tap into this really big gas tank that Mm. you've got. Mm -hmm. The muscle glycogen gas tank is about 2,000 calories. Small gas tank, right? Carbohydrate gas tank, real small. Electrical, quote, gas tank, real big. We've all got 20,000 calories, 30,000 calories of fat on our body, Mm -hmm. which is what we will do in terms of starvation. Mm -hmm. Well, being on a low carb diet kind of taps into that. You're more satiated between meals. You can go longer amounts of time between meals and it's easier to limit the calories you consume. It puts you in less of a sort of satiety prison. Mm -hmm. I found I wasn't ever getting hangry when I was (laughs) on a low carb. So what I'm hearing you say, Paul, is... You, I need to. Uh, the, the reason why carnivore would help me is because I'm going to feel satiated, and uh, that's going to tap into some fuels that I'm not used to burning. Um, b- but it's also, it, it's not starving myself, it, but it is still taking in. Well, the equation of losing weight is taking in less calories than what you put out. Exactly. Okay. The other piece of that equation that is often missed is that the foods you eat can affect calories out. The Mm. foods you eat appear to be able to affect your metabolism. This is hotly debated, right? Mm, Hotly debated. Okay. But there does appear to be a possibility that your metabolism may increase, so you may burn more calories, right? Okay. And if you look at overfeeding experiments, this is quite nuanced, and Tommy and I have talked about this many times, but it's pretty hard to get someone to gain weight if they don't have a combination of carbohydrates and fat. Interesting. We we talked about this a little earlier. The Mm. combination of carbohydrates and fat is an evolutionarily rare thing. There are mm. not many places where those occur together. Okay. That's why bodybuilders function best when they're eating chicken and rice, basically, or or you know steak and rice. What they need that carb because 
Bodybuilding is, by the way, an unnatural state. Exactly. Mm, exactly. Okay. But carbohydrates and fat together, ice cream, donuts, breast milk, that is uniquely satiety preventing. Mm. That sort of short circuits our mechanisms and says, hey, you're sucking on a boob. Keep going, dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're going to get real fat. Like, this yeah, is good for you, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, milk is hard to stop eating. Yeah. Uh, cheese is hard to stop eating. So what is a very what is a reasonable strategy for people losing weight is to limit either fat mm. or carbohydrates. We know that low fat, high carbohydrate diets can work for weight loss. Interesting. And high fat, low carb diets can work for weight loss. It's hmm. more difficult, but doable, yeah. to do moderate carb, moderate fat. So yeah. it's totally doable. You just have to be a little more disciplined and really be appreciating that processed foods will short circuit your satiety mechanism. So the first thing for you is alcohol, yeah. right? Get rid of that Cut and lose out. weight right, right. away. Okay. Second thing, get rid of processed foods. Don't mm -hmm. short circuit your satiety mechanisms. Your body is not going to stay in a satiety prison. It has not done it for four minutes. It will not do it. You will cheat, right? Okay. And more things are processed than we realize, right? Yes. Sure. So, so a lot of the things we think of as, as natural are actually processed. If it's got a label, if it's in a package. It's probably processed. Probably processed, yeah. right? Okay. And then thirdly, you can certainly do a low carb strategy like carnivore, mm -hmm. but you don't have to.